My name is Solomon King Benge, and I'm the founder of Fundibots. Fundibots is an organization that's trying to change the way science education is being taught in schools. We have three main training areas. There's mechanical engineering, there is um, electrical engineering, and then there's computer programming. So those are the three major areas that you need to focus on when you're, when you're building the robot. So for us, it allows us to teach the students a wide variety of disciplines. The idea is to transition education, especially science education, from less of a memorization and cramming system into something that's more proactive, more um, interactive, more hands-on, more practical. So the tool that we are using is basically robots. We teach kids how to build robots. And the goal is that while they're building this robot, it's a cool, fun and exciting experience. But while they're building the robot, they're being introduced to very hardcore engineering principles, including computer science, computer engineering, computer programming, mechanical engineering, electronics, etc. So the program is structured in two core areas. Well, there's the out-of-school program and there's the in-school program. The in-school program means that a whole bunch of us, teachers, uh, mentors and fundies as we call ourselves, um, go out to the schools and we conduct classes within the school premises. If the school is forthcoming, we set up robotics club, if clubs. If the school is even more forthcoming, then we have continued classes and lessons within the schools. However, for students who are not in the classroom, we have an out-of-school program, which is a space that we just showed you. Um, basically, we call it a fundi space, and it's a space for education, learning, collaboration, and product development. So the way we designed our space was to try and make it as modular as possible, but also as dynamic and flexible as possible. So basically, we've made it as adaptable to scenarios as possible. Um, there's only one closed off area, and that's the administrative room, which is where we're in right now. Um, but every other place sort of has um, an openness to it. So when you go to the lab, um, the workshop area, during classes it's closed off but when the classes are done then the lab opens up and the entire the, the entire fundi space becomes a lab um, and then during the training sessions we have two main training areas that are divided by thing that basically rolls in and out to partition the spaces um, and when we don't need that like when we're holding an event we can just push that off to the side we can roll away the chairs and the tables and then become this one big massive open space that can accommodate more than 100 people Funding the organization has been a little complicated because most people look at us as a fad. They're like, oh, robots in Africa, yeah, it sounds cool, but what change, what kind of impact are you going to actually make? So we've been focusing for the last year and a half on just proving people wrong. Um, we've, done a very, we've done very strong pilots. We've grown from um, four schools to about 20 schools right now. We've gone from 500 students to 2,000 students, we are beginning to see the kind of impact that we're getting. And that's beginning to make our fundraising easier. Um, but it's still, a, it's still a challenge because the key partners that we need are the government. And doing advocacy and policy making at the government level is something that takes time. So I, I, have, I have no illusion, no delusions about that. I know that it's probably going to take five to ten years before we can actually see some real system change at the government level. Um, but that doesn't stop us from doing what we can at the school level. And we've gotten quite some good support with schools, with parents and the students themselves.